As of Monday, August 6, nearly 14,000 firefighters are on the front lines of 16 large wildfires across California. To date, these fires have burned over 585,000 acres and damaged or destroyed over 2,000 structures, 42,000 residents under evacuation orders as of Monday morning. Here's the latest numbers on the five largest fires currently burning in California. Starting in the south, the Ferguson fire in Mariposa County, now in its 25th day. It is now the largest fire in the Sierra National Forest's history. Much of the Yosemite Valley remains closed. The Ferguson fire, over 91,000 acres, 38% contained. The Donnell Fire in Tuolumne County started six days ago near the east side of Donnell Lake. It is now 12,000 acres, just 1% containment. The Mendocino Complex Fire is now the second largest fire in state history, trailing only the Thomas Fire from last year. The Mendocino Fire grew by another 18,000 acres overnight, now over 273,000 acres containment down just slightly at 30 percent. Firefighters have continued to make good progress on the Wellback Fire in Lassen County. It is over 18,000 acres, but containment now up to 95 percent. Today is the 15th day of the Car Fire in Shasta County. The Car Fire, now the 12th largest fire in state history. It grew by another 8,600 acres overnight. Now over 163,000 acres, containment slightly up at 45 percent with over 1,000 structures destroyed. The wildfires are creating poor air quality conditions all across California. So as a health warning, people with heart or lung disease, older adults and children should avoid prolonged or heavy exertion and everyone else should try and reduce prolonged exposure to outside air or heavy exertion. For more information on the current air quality index, you can go to airnow.gov. That's airnow.gov. You should also check with your local air quality district for the current conditions in your area. For the latest information on any of the wildfires in California, you can go to the incident page on the CAL FIRE website. That is fire.ca.gov. And if you have been affected by any of these fires, we've got all the information you need for shelter, supplies, services, and support. You can go to wildfirerecovery.org.